this is DK Dynamite for a back-to-back -back zombies video, which should make up for not posting zombies in about two weeks. Tonight we're going to be talking about new gameplay for Season 5 zombies, upcoming DLC maps, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and let me know in the comments, what are you guys going to be playing first once Season 5 releases this upcoming Wednesday? Will it be multiplayer, zombies, or even Warzone? Maybe even none of the above. Be honest down below in the comments. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video that I posted last night addressing everything we need to know about a Zombies Chronicles 2, which I would say has been a fairly hot topic of discussion in the community. A lot of rumors have circulated about that topic, and I definitely got a lot off my chest in the video regarding some concerning things that I've seen posted about it, which have been taken fairly out of proportion. So if you guys are confused about what's going on with that, or in regards to how the Victor's remakes could work, everything you need to know is in the video linked down below in the description. But as of right now, the preload should be live on all PlayStation platforms for Black Ops Cold War Season 5, and the content does go live late Wednesday night, but once PC gets the preload, in the next day or two. I'm sure spoilers and other secrets about future seasons will end up getting posted on the internet, so be aware of that. If spoilers aren't your thing, warning you right now, be careful with Twitter and Reddit. But as we have confirmation here, the install for the preload that you should have on your PlayStations right now will be tomorrow, August 10th at 9 p.m. Pacific, 12 a.m. Eastern. Again, the preload will be tonight for PlayStation, probably other platforms to follow in the next few hours, but then you'll be able to install it as of tomorrow night, which means you'll get an early glimpse as to some of the content that'll be featured in Season 5, such as the new killstreak in multiplayer, the new main menu for multiplayer and zombies, etc. But the update for Warzone will go live August 11th, 9pm Pacific, 12am Eastern, then Season 5 officially starts as all the content becomes playable August 11th, 9pm Pacific, 12am Eastern, 5am UK, and 6am CEST. But earlier today at about 5pm, unexpectedly, we ended up getting some marketing for the new zombies content here in Season 5, so somebody must have forgot to hit the send button on that tweet <laughs> earlier this afternoon for for this many marketing. The first thing I want to point out here is that it seems like it took a little bit of a different approach with marketing this time around and on I think it was Friday they ended up posting about a minute long trailer of just the multiplayer content then today we got about a 35 second one just for zombies so instead of getting a full gameplay reveal trailer showing everything they've broken it up into pieces. We even got I think it was a minute plus trailer last week just for the double agent LTM so maybe trying something a little bit different this time just to save some budget or just to try something a little bit new to see how the community reacts to it but what I also will point out is that at some point tomorrow we should end up getting a season 5 studio broadcast which will kind of go in depth featuring a sit down with the devs regarding multiplayer zombies and even warzone they could even save that for Wednesday before the update goes live but maybe tomorrow we'll end up getting something special to kind of get us even more prepared for the upcoming DLC but here with this zombies teaser as you guys can see first off we have collateral the new region coming into outbreak it looks a little more dusty than usual especially more dusty than the version we have in combined arms so hopefully it's not as dusty as Arsenal Sandstorm from Black Ops 4, which ended up getting removed out of that game's multiplayer because of how well received. Just kidding, horribly received that map was to the point where Treyarch just noticed nobody was playing it. They took it out of the map rotation. <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, I can't lie. One of the roughest experiences I've ever had in a multiplayer where you just couldn't see anything unless you were running a certain thermal scope. So let's see how Dusty Collateral ends up being an outbreak. It probably won't be too bad, but if it gets a bit intense, I'm sure they'll end up toning it down a little bit in a future pass. We also got to look at the grappling hook from Blackout making its return here into Black Ops Cold War. So it's unclear if it'll recharge after using it or if it'll break after, let's say, five uses. Since I think in Blackout, you only could use it a couple of times before you would lose it. I hope it's something that's really accessible or could even drop as random ground loot, something you can grab from a loot box or something that could drop from a heavy enemy. Hopefully it's as accessible as possible so that we can get around the map as quickly as we'd like. We then got to look at Death Perception in action here with the Wonderfizz machine. And again, it's unclear if DLC 4, the next round based map, is going to have a machine just for Death Perception since Death Perception's never had its own perk machine before. It didn't have one in Black Ops 4, so maybe they'll end up coming up with one along with a new perk jingle for it that we'll see in the next round base map. I mean, there is one slot left on the Wonder Fizz aside from this, so that'll either go to PhD, Double Tap, or a new perk entirely. That perk will definitely have its own perk machine in DLC 4, but with Death Perception, we'll see how this goes. Could be a Wonder Fizz exclusive perk throughout all of Black Ops Cold War. But as you guys know, the tier upgrades for this perk already surfaced on the internet. Everybody's already talked about that, and I'm looking forward to the perk nonetheless. It looks a lot more useful than both Mule Kick and Tombstone combined. We also have a look here at the new objective, which looks amazing. You have to drive around a vehicle, and then what looks like having to launch a rocket, similar to the other objective we already have in Outbreak, dealing with rockets as well. This one could be a bit tough. I'm a huge fan of seeing a new objective, so that every time you go to a region, you'll be guaranteed to see a new objective every single time, unless you go to, like, what, round 10 or 20, and at that point, you'll see a bit of a repeat with a lot of the objectives, but, I mean, we're gonna have six to seven objectives now in Outbreak. I mean, 
if you even play that far, you have something new to do every single time you warp, which I'm really excited about. All the objectives so far have been pretty fun. Some are more difficult than others, but this one looks like it'll be a bit of a hybrid between some of the ones we already have in game. We then get a look at the Disciple from Outer Toten making his debut over in Outbreak this season, along with the Flamethrower as a kill streak. So it's unclear if we're always going to get an overlap between bosses across Round Base and Outbreak. At one point in time, I was always thinking that the Tempest and Panzer just might have been exclusive to Outbreak when they launched Season 2, but when Modern Totem released, they were both on the map. So I guess we'll always have an overlap between bosses popping up in different maps, modes, or experiences. I'm sure even the Tormentors from Modern Totem may pop up in, let's say, Onslaught or even a future Outbreak update. You never know. But overall, pretty cool new look here at the new Outbreak content in Season 5. One thing that I want to point out, though, is that it does say regions plural. Could this have been a typo? Absolutely, but... If this isn't a typo and they are confirming more regions in Season 5 aside from Collateral, we don't get a glimpse of any other regions on the roadmap. So could this be a hint that in Season 5 Reloader we're going to get even more regions added to Outbreak that may also be from Combined Arms? Or is this something to do with the surprise that we just don't know about yet? I mean, I want to point out something that I brought up before but some people disagree with and it's alright, I'll bring it up again. On the Season 5 roadmap, not much is listed for in Season. A lot of the content listed on here is for Day 1 or Week 1 of Season 5, which to me is great news but what this tells me is that we have no idea what's going to be included in the mid-season update for Season 5, so there could be plenty of juicy surprises for Zombies specifically that we have no idea about right now. And I've seen some questionable comments saying that there isn't going to be anything new added in Reloaded and this is going to be it for the season. And I'm like, when has a Reloaded update ever had that little of content? I mean, there's always been quite a bit offered in the mid-season updates for every single season, some of which wasn't listed on the original roadmap released for the beginning of that season. So I just want to point out real quickly that more regions could be on the way. Now, another big point I wanted to bring up is that gameplay has actually already surfaced online of regions like Armada and Crossroads from Combined Arms being played over an Outbreak. I know Crossroads was mentioned a good maybe two months ago or more, right around when Season 3 came out. Apparently, people found a way to play Outbreak on that map, and it worked. There were actual spawns for the objectives, the Wonder Fizz, the Pekka Punch... And I'm like, all right, was that being saved for maybe an exclusive part of a main quest? And that wasn't the case. Then a couple of days ago, gameplay actually was posted of Armada with Outbreak. So if I had to guess right now, maybe what's going to happen is we're going to see at least three combined arms maps added to Outbreak, which is Collateral, uh, Crossroads, and then, of course, Armada after that, which is also fair considering Armada isn't in Zombies at all right now, the Voyage Remaster, as I'm calling it. It's not an onslaught, maybe because of spawn issues or exploits or other bugs they didn't have time to deal with. I mean, I mean, there's other maps that aren't in Onslaught either, not just Armada. But if they add it to Outbreak, then they'll just have to make some work around some of the objectives, like the Escort, for example, having it bounce from one ship to another. If all of Armada is playable at that point, maybe even have some objectives unplayable in that specific region. You never know. But could both Armada and Crossroads drop in Season 5 Reloaded? Then Season 6 may open up with, let's say, a main quest 3 in Outbreak that requires us to go on those combined arms maps, or maybe just a few of them, for certain tasks, similar to how important... Uh, what is it, Ruka and then Sanatorium are for the other two Outbreak main quests, followed by Season 6 Reloaded, which presumably will end up having DLC 4 bundled with it, the next round base map. So those are the only combined arms maps that I really see coming to Outbreak, along with Collateral, that makes sense for me personally, since Miami and Cartel are in combined arms, but are also just not maps that I see working too well in Outbreak. They aren't big enough the way I see it. I mean, they're in Onslaught already, which is fine. I don't think they really fit with what Treyarch is going for with these Outbreak-appropriate regions that just so happen to be combined arms maps as well. But story-wise, our time in the Euro Mountain seems to be over, and I guess that makes perfect sense. After Mauder Toen, who knows where we're going? Dark Aether or some other uh, location entirely that may be taken from the campaign, possibly. But a main quest 3 serving as a pro to DLC 4 would be great, but I wouldn't see it making much sense to go back to the Euro Mountains for that story. I can see the story only taking place over the three combined arms maps that may drop over an Outbreak. I also saw some comments asking about the Cerberus Wonder Weapon coming to Outbreak, and Nothing was mentioned about that now. Maybe they'll end up talking about this in a studio broadcast tomorrow for Season 5. I mean, there was a little mention of it in a recent post where they mentioned it was exclusive as of now to Modern Toten, but that could change in the future, right? They said Zoo wasn't coming to multiplayer, and it didn't come to Fire Team, but an incarnation of it is coming to 6v6. So we could get a possible update in Reloaded that brings us a Cerberus Wonder Weapon, maybe similar to the update that brought us the die upgrades from D-Machine, where you have to do a short task or find a part or something, and then boom, you can go ahead and build those Wonder Weapons. 
things, but I can see why it's also exclusive to Modern Toe-In as of now, because they essentially give you unlimited ammo in DLC 3, right? You really never run out of ammo with them, and you can just keep swapping between the variants. It's a very unique wonder weapon that we've never seen before in Traeger Zombies, so I'm sure that just wouldn't work the same in Outbreak, or they would have to find a way to balance the drops for the different variants or whatnot, so lots of questions with how that can work, or how they can find a way to balance that for this bigger experience, but if it ends up staying exclusive to Modern Toe-In, I won't complain either. Now, I also wanted to go into a bit of information regarding DLC 4, the next round based map. Not much is known about that map as of now, other than a code name for it, which people out there have posted online. It's code named Giants. Probably not related to the Reese at all. I mean, it could be for all we know, but right now I'm going to say it's probably not. Giant could just be referring to maybe a giant boss we have to face, the Forsaken one being a giant that makes an appearance. Who knows what that even means? Could even be a code name for something that is scrapped now and they've changed something behind the scenes. But as of now, according to insider Tom Henderson, that map is going to drop at some point in September. But then if you do some math here, right, Season 5 Reloaded should probably end up releasing at the beginning of September, or maybe at least the first week, possibly the second. But if that's going to be the case, then does that mean DLC 4, the next round base map, will end up dropping in Season 5 Reloaded? Or will that release date that he heard September end up changing to maybe October? Maybe that's pushing it too close to the release of Call of Duty 2021. So I would say right now it's kind of 50-50 with when this map's going to drop. Either Season 5 Reloaded or the opening of Season 6. At the very latest though, Season 6 Reloaded, which we all thought about considering how big the gap was between Firebase and Modern Toten. Season 1 Reloaded, Season 4 Reloaded. That was, what, three whole seasons in between? So I'm not saying it's going to take that long again. It obviously can't, but... I would say seeing at the very last minutes of this game's life cycle would make sense to me unless the map is already well along development or it's not as big as Modern Toten to where it takes less time to make. Lots of questions with that, but as I said earlier with the roadmap, right, not much is known about the mid-season update for Season 5, whereas in previous seasons, we knew about quite a bit on those roadmaps that was going to be saved for weeks after the launch of that season. So for all we know, they could be saving a new round base map for the reloaded updates in over a month's time. You never know. But obviously in a perfect world it would be cool to see maybe a outbreak easter egg similar to operation excision that serves as a bit of a prologue to dlc4 maybe introducing us to the identity of the director or some other storyline details and then from there once dlc4 drops we're ready to just hop right into the action right no mystery just getting right into it with whatever quest we have to do with the director but i do know intel is going to be dropping this week for season five probably revealing what's going to happen next or giving us what could be our first clues as to where we're going to go in dlc4 so i'll keep you guys posted with what's going on with the next round based map i'll probably have an update video talking about where we're going to be going at some point later this week if the intel does reveal that there's gonna be new intel dropped in outbreak onslaughts and of course our other round based experiences in game but last and definitely not least i know everybody has their opinion as to what's better round based or outbreak and the thing is right as a matter of fact as Treyarch themselves have said the player bases for both were neck and neck but considering how successful outbreak has been you just know that it's performing very well behind the scenes if activision is constantly pushing for as many updates as possible to the mode there was a free trial so the player base is even higher than than probably usual and the fact that a version of it got added to cod mobile does tell you that activision is like all right let's make outbreak the war zone for zombies so in the future at least what it seems right now is that we're going to be seeing updates to outbreak similar to how we get updates to Warzone, which may overshadow the usual content so with Warzone's sake we get what seems like a little bit less for 6v6 multiplayer or regular multiplayer in general more goes into Warzone, right? And then for Zombies, more might go into Outbreak than our supposed 6v6 maps. And to me, that's fine considering it's opening up a new era of Zombies players, right? New generation of the game mode, or new iteration, I should say, for the game's mechanics, considering it's been over a decade with the same formula. And if I'm not mistaken, for the past couple of Zombies iterations now, even going to late Black Ops 3 cycle, people were saying, we need something new. We need more modes. We need a new formula. It's just the same copy-paste every year. People say that all the time, and then Outbreak is experimenting with something which you don't have to like of course but it's trying to eliminate that argument and try to say all right you guys are tired of the old formula here's something new if you're interested but i could definitely see the next couple of years at least for zombies being something that activision hasn't done before but is putting zombies in the spotlight by giving it the warzone treatment with possibly making it free to play so maybe outbreak will be free to play and we'll have every developer create their own iteration of this open world mode but then if you want to pay for round based maps you can do that by buying a full copy of the game that's my theory right now with how zombies could work in future installments but i wanted to bring up something that i did mention on the podcast last week in case you guys missed this and it's an old reddit post from the black ops 4 season that says the following zombies make the blackout map a playable map for a free roam type mode flooded with zombies with 
with full perk machines, power weapons, vehicles as well. There is no purpose other than to survive as long as possible by scavenging equipment like barriers, razor wire, etc. in order to buy time or perhaps a mode where one must outlive and I'll trace a storm until a helicopter rescue team is at the final circle. Ammo can become scarce and teams need to go searching for equipment and the zombies will have to be fast and hurt a lot, not just one damage here and there. And we of course have comments, right, in support of this. Never wanted anything more than this in my life. This would be dope. Uh, they won't do that because they're married to the shitty small map with no open space and infinite corridors idea. I can't remember an open map since Shido Numa 10 years ago. The idea is great though and will most likely be a lot of fun. And I'm like, wait, there's no open maps in Shido Numa. What about Origins, Transit? I mean, dozens of maps that are wide open with lots of areas, lots of space. But this is just a small example of what I'm saying, right? This was found by a couple of my friends who were searching through old posts and they found this pretty easily. And I'm like, all right, well, that just kind of shows you the state of the community sometimes, right? Right? It's okay to change your mind on things after playing it for a little while or to get burnt out of something completely normal But it's just a pure example of the hypocrisy with zombies sometimes right people want something they get it And they don't want it anymore or it's not good enough or X and Y and Z right? It's not Burger King where you can have it your way unfortunately But something like Outbreak was requested years ago and it's here now And this is a version of this experience that was made during COVID under very limited circumstances So just imagine what they could do with the mold like this when they have a full three-year dev cycle no interruptions, no COVID, no pandemic, no lockdowns, working at the office over in LA or wherever the hell it is. Imagine what they could do with an experience like this that will blow the current version of Outbreak out of the water, especially making it free to play at some point. I mean, this one's only going to get better, so consider this the Nocturne and Toten of this Outbreak-like experience that we have right now in Black Ops Cold War. No pun intended because, yeah, Nox also in the Machina, also signaling the start of the Dark Ether storyline. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the new gameplay for Season 5 DLC? How do you feel about the upcoming Combined Arms maps coming into Outbreak at some point? And what are your thoughts on other content that may end up dropping as soon as Season 5 Reloaded? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everyone.